big data, AI, machine learning, predictive analytics. We're all very interested in this whole world. Most of us, though, are just drowning in data and very poor in information. How can you take all of that data and turn it into real, actionable information? Minitab's predictive analytics module. Let's take a look. So we often start looking at data through graphs, and Minitab has a very convenient graph builder. Here, I'm looking at the cost of manufacturing glass for packaging. So this particular company works in many different industries, many market settings, et cetera, and needs to look at the cost of manufacturing so that they can provide the company going to them for their packaging a good estimate of the price they should pay. But in order to get a handle on costs, we can look at a couple different variables. So for example, I'm looking at the color of the glass and I notice that the average cost seems to be much higher for the cobalt glass than it is for, say, the green glass. So that's a great way and a great start to look at what my costs are going to be. I can create that graph. I can go back and maybe try some additional graphs by adding some more variables in here, like the plant it's being manufactured at, the weight of the product, the cavities, the speed, et cetera. I keep, can keep going. But as I do that, it gets harder and harder to distill all of this information in one place. I might find a few visualizations that are useful. I can see costs are higher at a specific plant and for certain colors of graphs together. But then I have to, if I want to look at um, some other things, I might have to create additional graphs to add some additional variables. So very quickly, two-dimensional graphics and visualizations really run out of steam because I can only look at two or three or a handful of things at one time on something that's in two dimensions. If I really want to unlock all the dimensions in my data, that's where I need to move to predictive analytics. So in Minitab, we have a predictive analytics module that has this great tool I love called automated machine learning. I want to determine what drives costs. Well, cost is a continuous variable, so I choose that. That is my outcome. My continuous possible inputs are things related to the manufacturing process, the demographics about the customer, things uh, related to exactly the dimensions of the product they're looking for, et cetera. And I simplified this example. Uh, this originally came from a customer of ours that had hundreds of these different variables. And what we want to do is distill them down so that we can actually predict the cost of any particular order. Say it's a pharmaceutical company that needs a small bottle for a particular type of medication, or it's a beverage company that needs a larger bottle for their specific wine. All of these things and all this information is now in Minitab's automated machine learning. What it's doing right now as it runs is it is looking at many, many, many different predictive analytics models and looking at ways to tune those models to make them optimal. It does take a minute or two just to run through as many models as it's running, but the good news is it gives you an answer. Here we know the very best model it came up with in all the models it ran happened to be what's called a random forest model. But you didn't have to decide that. Minitab found it for you. If instead you want some different type of model, you can just tell Minitab, I want to select instead of a random forest model, I want a multiple regression model, for example, because that one will give me an equation I might want to use. Or maybe I want a cart model because that one will give me a really nice visual of what's going on in this process with a tree, a cart tree. So going back, I'm going to use the best model, which happened to be that random forest model, and I can see what my most important predictors are. So if I want to reduce cost, well, I should really focus on reducing the weight. What's really cool here, I knew color, impacted cost to some extent. I saw that in my visualization, but here I actually see it wasn't nearly as important as some of these other variables. If I can reduce the weight of these bottles, I will greatly reduce cost. In addition to being able to do that, now I want to put this in practice. Someone just ordered something from me. Okay, well, what is the expected weight of this particular product? 
how many cavities in the manufacturing process, just the molding process, you're going to need, what, how fast do they run, how efficient is it going to be, etc. Let's see, we know a setup time and we can put in an estimated energy use. I want a frosted bottle and I'm going to see what happens if I run it at plant 20 and this happens to be for the beverage industry. Guess what? I immediately get a prediction of what that particular order is going to cost per unit. Now that is powerful. Just think what you could do by unlocking more of the dimensions in your data.